Assalamu alaikum. My name is Raja and I'll be teaching you the first course of the Arabic language. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum is hello in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum. So first we're going to start learning about the Arabic alphabet. Al huruf al Arabiya. Al huruf. Al Arabiya. The first thing you have to know about the Arabic language is that it's written from r right to left. From right to left. So whatever you're going to write from now on in Arabic, it has to go start from this direction. And you go on. So we're going to learn about the first letter, which is Alif. Alif, Alif, and it's similar to the e uh sound, e uh sound in English, e, uh, e, uh, e, uh. Alif, Alif, Alif. I'm going to write it one more time so you can see how I'm tracing it. Alif. Alif, Alif. The second letter is B, B, B. It's like a little boat shape. B, B. I start from here, then I go trace it, and then just curve it at the end with one dot. B, B. And that's similar to the sound B, B in English. So B. B, B. I'm going to write it one more time here. B, B. Let's write it another time. B, B. And then, T, T, T. Same shape as B, but with two dots. T. And it's the letter T in English. T, 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 T. Let's write it again. T. Watch, I'm going to write it slowly. T, T. Then we have S. With three dot th, th. In English you would refer to this as th, just like in the word think, think, or thought, th, th. So it's th, th. Th. See how I'm starting from right to left? Th. Jim 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 J J you can refer to it as J or uh, G J J J Jim Look how I'm writing it. This is again the same line you're gonna start. Write in your words, so you have to start Jim. See how I'm doing it? Jim. Jim. And then we have ha, ha, ha. Ha. Same shape as Jim, except this one does not have the dot. Ha. Ha. There is no equivalent sound to it in, in English, but we have the ha. 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 So I'm going to refer to it as H. And this is ha. Ha. 
ha. I'm going to put a cross right here because there's no equivalent sound to it in English. I'm going to write it again. Ha. Same shape as Jim. I start from here, then I go down to the line, then I put a curve. Ha. Ha. Mm hmm And then we've got ho. Ho. Same shape as Jim and ha, but with a dot on top of it. Ha. Ha. I would refer to it as KH. Mm -hmm. We don't have it in English. There's no equivalent sound to it. Ha, ha. So I'm going to write it again. Ha, ha. Same shape. Ha. 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 Ha, ha, ha. It's a hard uh, sound, but it exists in other um, uh, languages. Um, except English, you might not find an equivalent word that starts with a ha. Jim, ha, ha. And then we got del. Del. I'm going to pull up the paper a little bit. Del. And that's similar to D. D, 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 Del, Del, Del. So I'm going to write it again. See, it's a, it's it's shorter than the ellipse. D, D, Del, Del. And then we have the exact same shape, and that's a del with a dot. Same as del, but it's a del, del. And I'm going to refer to it as th because there is an equivalent sound to it in English, and it's like in this and that this and that, so this is the same sound of the thel. Now write it again, the, 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 same shape as the thel, thel, thel. And then we have ra, ra, like r, 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 and you start from the line and you curve, you go down and you curve it. So I'm going to write it again, R, R, and R, okay? There is a, another letter that is it has the same shape after the R, Zin but with a dot. Exact same shape as ra. Zin, and you can refer to it as z. Zin, as in the word zoo. Zin. Same way. You go, start from top and you go down. Start from top and you go down and you put the dot. Start from top and you go down and you put the dot. Okay, so I'm going to write all of these letters in bigger shapes. Those are, those are only the first, these are only the first half of the alphabet. So we're just going to see the shapes of each one of them. Then we're going to move to part two of the alphabet. So we're going to do Elif. I'm going to write it big this time. Watch how I'm doing it. Alif, 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 and then I'm going to do B. Watch how I start from the top and I go down straight and then curve it up again. One dot. B, 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 Alif, B, 
الف ب Watch how I'm writing the ta. Ta, 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 ta. Sa, sa, sa. So I'm gonna. Push this down a little bit so you can see how the B and the T and the Th have the same shape. The same shape. Alif, B, T, Th. Okay? So now let's do the Jim. Watch how I'm starting. I start from here, then go up, make a curve, go down the line, and then go again, make a little half circle, and put the dot in here. Jim, Jim. You see how this goes? So I'm going to highlight it, or I'll just show you how you could do it all over again, but in right here, you go this way. And you go that way again. See? And then you, you start this way. And you curve all the way here. And you put the dot. Jim. 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 There are two other letters that have the same shape as the Jim. But they have the dot in different places. So I'm going to do ha. Ha. Just a reminder, this is the letter that does not have an equivalent sound in English. Ha, ha. And I go down, and I go this. Ha, no dots. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm going to write ha down here. I'm going to start from here, same way, and I'm drag it all the way down, make that curve, and then put the dot on top. Ha, ha. So, jim, ha, ha. Jim, ha, ha. Let's bring the, the other ones. Alif, ba, ta, tha. Alif, B, T, Th. Now we're going to do another set. Dal. Let me get a cleaner page. Dal. So look how I'm going to start. It's shorter. If I'm going to start Alif from here to here, see this would be the height of the Alif. The Dal should be half. So I'm going to do dal, 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 and then dal, dal. See how short? So it has a little kind of corner, curved corner right here. So you start from here. And then you curve it here. And it's the same shape as the that. Start. And go back on the line. And it has to be right on the line. Okay? And I'm going to do a raw. And this is where I'm going to start. The raw goes down the line. So you always have to remember that. And make sure you don't confuse it with the that when you write it. The del goes here on the line. The ra goes down the line. Ra. Ra. See where Elif goes up? This goes down. Ra. Ra. 
and then zin, zin, with one dot. Ra and zin, ra and zin. See how you curve it? Ra, ra, and then zin. So this is the first part of the Arabic alphabet. And I'll show you again how the alif goes down. And then when you write the hamza, you go this way, all the way here, and then you drag it back again. The ba, the boat shape. You start from here, and you go all the way up. You don't pause. And then you put the dot. Te, same way as the ba. You start and you don't pause. Straight. And you put the two dots. Te, you go again and straight and you put three dots. Alright, so this is the first part. And we're going to do the second part in a little bit.